by majority, the CAS panel has dismissed the request for arbitration, considering that Castor Semenya and ASA were unable, unable to establish that the DSD regulations were invalid. The panel found that the DSD regulations are discriminatory, but the majority of the panel found that on the basis of the evidence submitted by the parties in the procedure, such discrimination is a necessary, reasonable and proportionate means of achieving the IWF's objective of preserving the integrity of female athletics in some track events of international competitions, that is from 400 meter to one mile. Castor and we ourselves extremely disappointed in the outcome because it's not correct to have a law which plays out in a way that nobody knows yet until it does play out. And you can't have the person who makes the law also be the person implementing the law and deciding how it plays out. So that is not the way we see fairness. If testosterone was the only cause for this uh, improvement in performance, that we would see women with uh, DSDs who have high levels of testosterone achieving and being able to compete alongside men. But the reality of the situation is that there has been that's never occurred. And if we actually look at Casta Semenya's own personal times, we see that the maximum that she has beaten other women uh, 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 is in the order of about one, one and a half to two percent. So you can see there's a huge difference between uh, yep. the, the elite male and the elite female times. There's a moratorium of eight days from today, which will enable her to compete in Doha. After that, she can compete in in events which are outside the range of the regulations or she can take the oral contraceptives and if she reduces the testosterone level she will be able to compete in all events but I cannot say as I sit here whether she will submit herself to a regime of medical treatment which is unproven and has no scientific basis that we know of.